Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we are landing our Duna base down on the surface and I kind of scouted a few sites and checked out a few different things and I think we will be landing someplace around in here. I wanted it to be relatively kind of close to the other base, but uh, initially what I had planned was to actually land it at the base that we have now and maybe possibly extend onto it but I don't even think that's going to be a possibility it, it is very hard to land that close to something but so let's get rid of this stage here there isn't really much else to change I've had a few issues already now with um, just trying to get these parachutes set up the right way and I, I didn't really set up the staging the right way. That was kind of one of the major things that I always try to make sure everything is good. But, you know, the, it, I, I guess with nine rockets to launch, uh, you kind of forget a few little details here and there. But it, overall, it's all worked out pretty well. Considering out of the nine missions, well, uh, yeah, out of the nine missions we've sent here, uh, we have successfully completed eight. So this will be the last one for our Duna Extravaganza, or whatever you want to call it, nine total ships all sent at once. Uh, just uh, absolutely awesome. I, I, I really i am glad you guys are loving this. I'm loving it. I've been excited to get everything set up and to proceed further and getting everything... Oh my god. It just exploded. That, that was amazing. Uh, I've, I've been just about excited as you guys have been uh, getting everything set up and just overall seeing how far we can get with all of this. And I do say that I think we successfully colonized Duna. I, I, I would. I, I don't really like to, uh, you know, throw out all those kinds of things, but it, you know, it's it's looking pretty good. So the other thing I wanted to address before we really start getting into it is uh, the modded series. I do know that it's been a little while since I've done anything with the modded series. I want to get this a little bit further out, see if we can get closer to kind of in, in here somewhere. That would be nice. Uh, let's see, bring it up a little bit further. That, that's good. I'm going to save the rest of the fuel and for probably around when the drogue shoots pop. I don't know if... Um, really doing anything right now is going to be worth it but yeah our modded series it's been a while I am not I, I've been neglecting the modded series but the one thing I want to say is that it's not that I am stopping or anything like that I will continue with the modded series very soon uh, I, I kind of wanted to just get all this Duna stuff I, I know there's a lot of new people on the channel and uh, I don't want to confuse anybody with uh, you know, different episodes and all kinds of different things going. And wow, we are very close. I am very easily distracted. Wow, that's actually fairly close for not even trying. So let's pop these shoots. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want to confuse anyone with doing a colonization and everything. And this is an unmodded series. And, you know, I, I, I try to make it as clear as possible. But I know some people will get confused and... Plus, it's just awesome. You know, the, the nine rockets all to Duna, and we might as well finish all of this off in a nice little bang here. And I'm really wondering what I should do next. I really would love to go to Moho. I have not been to Moho, so I'm thinking we either build a ship or I might possibly send our jewel explorer there. I don't know yet, but I think maybe the jewel explorer I, I i really don't know what the capabilities of that thing is going to be and let's get our engines fired up here because we are going just a bit too fast get the sas off and yeah that's looking really good that is looking really really good let's get ourselves slow down burn off a ton of speed that that is just insane so I think the Droge shoots should fully pop here in a second. We are getting pretty close to the surface. And a little uh, it's getting me a little worried. 
There we go. Drove shoots. And... Wow. That is nice. So we'll get rid of this guy. You served us well. You served us very, very well. And we'll get the gear down. Because, oh god, turn this off. Um... Gear down? There we go. Yes, I would like to go to Moho. I, I don't... I, I have not been to Moho. So I, I would really like to see what it's all about. Meet the people. And, you know, just do all the nice things. And just, you know, see see what it's all about. I, I, I really haven't done anything as far as going to Moho. Or even sending a satellite to Moho. Even offline. or Well, I shouldn't say offline. But um, when I'm not recording, I, I have not just gone to moho just to see what it's like or anything and i do gotta say wow that is freaking awesome how it's just sitting there i do gotta say i the site looks like it's pretty good but i am just a little bit worried that this might be i don't know it, it, it yeah these engines are gonna do nothing but i'll just leave them firing anyways that was a pretty solid touchdown and we're not really on too much of a like a really steep incline or anything which is really good to be honest that that's actually really good so let me start unpacking this thing and uh, we can get this thing at least try to get it set up here oh, at least somewhat so turn on the brakes there we go and I'll leave the SAS off for now and decouple decouple and decouple here but yeah i think a moho mission is going to be the next thing on the list of all the things i have to do i was considering colonizing eve and i don't know if i'm even going to bother with that not that um i don't want to but i don't think you guys want to watch another super colonization of another planet or anything like that I, I don't know if you guys are loving this as much as i am but i'm really enjoying it uh, come on get this thing over here oh god it's starting to flip there we go oh god this is not going to be a good landing all right um i kind of don't want to destroy this thing in case we need it but dear god I'm okay with it being far away from the base. Slow down. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Wow, that's that's pretty good. I'm not I'm I'm not doing too bad here. All right. Well, I thought that was gonna end a lot worse. I don't know. I've I've been I've been pretty uh, rusty at this game lately. I don't know what's going on. But let's see. So RCS is missing. I don't even know why we got RCS on this thing. Does it have any RCS? No, there's no RCS thrusters on there. Whatever. I don't know. I generally add these things. Why is that open? That is... Why is that open? Dude, these aren't normally open like that. Well, whatever. I, I guess it's some kind of a bug. But, nah. Whatever. We'll get these things out. I don't think we're going to actually be able to leave these out, but uh, we'll... Wow, uh, that was kind of weird. We'll get the gear down on these guys, and that's what we need. And gear down, and gear down. Gear down? So you're not responding to anything I'm doing. You're down. Hello. Module. Hold on. It, it may be something broke on here. I don't know. Is this uh, completely disconnected? I Do I have control over everything? I don't understand what is going on. Why can't I uh, put the gear down? Maybe the gear is broken. That, that is a good observation i'll probably fix this gear on here I, i'm guessing it's probably broken none of them are even moving but uh yeah so i'm gonna start setting this up and i'll see you guys once we get this base fully put together
right, and everything's looking pretty good. I did not set this up 100% right. You can see that this guy is a little bit off the ground, and this one's a little bit off the ground, and I, I did not take the tender love and care that I normally put into it to make sure that these are all perfectly flat, but I will probably fix that after uh, we get off or after uh, this episode's over and you know I'll probably fix everything up a little bit here and there but overall everything worked pretty well now I was going to try using the sky crane uh, just ended up changing my mind at the last minute mostly because uh, these things aren't exactly if you look at it it's not there's no symmetry in it so the the only way that there would really be any symmetry if I were to lift it from like right around actually pretty much right here on the crew hatch which if you were to put anything on the crew hatch you guys know that you cannot open so they would all be trapped inside so the, and, and it would be impossibly hard to put these things back on the ground once you pick them up but yeah so we got a duna base it's looking amazing well we got two duna bases well three duna bases <laughs> we have our Duna Base Alpha, which that one actually has a really big voltaic setup, and I was going to try to do that again, but I, I ended up, well, mostly because of our launch, and we only had one open slot, so it, it was with that only. So, and then we have our Mobile Duna Base over here, which the Mobile Duna Base is a freaking amazing, and I, I'm really glad you guys are liking it. And we got a really nice view on the horizon, I do gotta say. It is just... Th that is awesome. And it's pretty much gonna always stay right there, too, which I'll do a little bit... Uh, I'll speed everything up here in a second just to show you guys that. But we gotta put a flag down. Put it down. I, I really hope... Did I... No. No avatar. Eh, just, just pretend my avatar is there. So, doing a base... Base beta founding. Yeah. Um. No. No exclamation points. That is looking awesome. That is amazing. So let's see. Yeah. There we go. So let's see what this looks like on the horizon. I know that Ike does have a tendency to move a little bit. Uh. It kind of. Oh yeah. That that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. So during the day, it just rears its ugly head for a minute, and then during the night, it hides under the hill. That That is, well, I, I, you can't even say that's a hill. It just moves down a little bit, but that is freaking awesome. That is absolutely freaking awesome. Now, this base, I don't know if it, it actually has enough battery to survive a full night, but I'm pretty sure it gets close oh no it does look at that that is awesome and this guy is probably almost dead we should get the panels out on him and we got a little rover too I, I don't know what was going on before too that they didn't when they closed again they didn't close like it was before that I don't know what happened uh, something had to be messed up but we could probably take a little bit of a drive too if we wanted to but you know it's pretty much barren in every single direction I there really isn't very much although there is like a a CCTV signal someplace that's not too far away but uh, at, uh, at least uh, somewhere on the planet it's probably really far away that's what that's what I meant to say but we got a little base here and uh, yeah so if you guys like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time.